Hello channel friends, this is WCoven38 and today I'm coming to you from my rather messy office slash uh, personal room and I have a bit of a surprise. Now I wonder what this video is going to be about. I just wonder. I wonder what it could be. Uh-oh. Hmm, wonder what that is. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. 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 Yes, friends, I got myself a birthday present. And this, my friends, is my very first bolt action rifle. This is a Remington Model 700. It shoots a 308 Winchester. And the stock is the Varmint and the Mossy Oak style. Now I've got some paperwork I need to go over with you. It's of course the caliber as I just said it's a 308. It weighs eight and a half pounds. The barrel length on this bad boy is 26 inches long. It's a heavy tapered barrel with a non-reflective matte blue finish on the barrel and on the receiver has an overall length as you can tell from my panning with my camera of 46 and a half inches long. This is a really long rifle. Very very nice. It weighs eight and a half pounds so it's not light. Now the stock the stock is a vented beaver tail forend with an enhanced grip and reduced weight and gives better heat dissipation. I'll let you know how that goes when I take it out and shoot it. They did pick me up a uh, inexpensive bipod for it from Walmart. And behind it you can see the scope covers. Now the scope comes with it from factory. It's kind of a throw-in scope and it is a 4 12 by 40 I don't know a lot about scopes yet but I'm gonna find out I've never actually made it a habit of using one so I'm gonna to have to find out and I'll get back to you about that one thing a friend of mine said is that you do need to take it and have it bore sighted so that it will be closer to be on to being on especially with an inexpensive scope the stock, like I said, is a mossy oak. I'm going to move around here. There's the bolt action. The rifle is unloaded, and as you can see, it's on safe. Sweet, what a present. This cost, with taxes and the droves and all, about $610 for a 308. Remington. This is an excellent, excellent piece of equipment. I'm just as excited as you could imagine to have this fine, uh, fine looking weapon. One thing I will be doing, I'm going to camo the uh, scope. Either that or I'm going to buy one that's already camoed and I'm going to get a different one. I've, I'm debating whether to go with a Nikon or another model. Like I said, I don't know a lot about them. So Anybody that has any input, I'd really appreciate it. This is the, the newest uh, one. It used to be called ADL. Now they call it SPS. It's got sling swivel studs on it. There's the one on the rear by the butt. There's the trigger guard. And the bipod's mounted on the very front one. There's actually two on this. Let's see if I can get you in there real well. There's the there's the uh, 
the rear one. Now you can put a sling on it because on the front of this bipod is the hole for the uh, the front mount for a sling if you want one. I'm going to have to decide whether to pick one up but I just thought I'd give you this uh, really neat quick video of this uh, Remington 700 varmint in 308 caliber. I can hurt, man, if this wasn't late at night, I'd be taking this thing out and firing it right now. I'm going to work the action for you. I've played with it a little bit. I haven't adjusted it, but I have used it. Of course, you always want to make sure your weapon's clear. No ammo in there. And the gun is on safe, but no gun's actually safe. And we've gone over that before. This is an excellent, excellent gun. Now one thing it does have, it's got dual mounts. It came with uh, two mounts for the scope. I'm thinking about getting a solid one when I get my new scope. Like I said, I'm going to have to decide on that. I'm also trying to decide whether or not to do any type of, ca type of camo work on my uh, barrel. But, you know, that's going to remain to be seen. But the I believe the first order of business is going to be to swap out the scope. I'm going to look for one a little bit different. Like I said, this one's a 4x12x40 by by and from the information that I got on it, it's kind of a basic throw-in scope that Remington gives you so you have something to shoot this rifle with. Well this is my present that my dear wife didn't complain about a bit. Lucky me, she could have been like some people and just griped up a storm to the point where I wouldn't have it, but she didn't, so I treated myself for once. Pretty lucky. Can hardly wait to get out to the range and uh, show off this bad boy. Let, let's see if I can uh, do it some justice. This is a W Copeland 38. I'm going to pan back and give you a little bit more of a view. I'm saying I'll be back with more for you. The other hand's busy holding.